Hello everyone, this is Damien and this is going to be lesson number four of Beginner's Java. So you'll notice that I've kept our scanner imports, our lesson, and everything else intact. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a problem with simple interest. Now for those of you that know, the interest formula is interest equals uh, principal multiplied by that is the wrong principle, by the way, multiplied by rate divided by time. And just to make this a little more clear, let's just add some parentheses there for those of you who might struggle with order of operations. Okay, so if we're going to be doing this, we want to allow a user to be able to specify, specify their principal, or well, starting principal, starting money, uh, the um, rate of growth per year, APY and the time they want to invest for. Okay, so once we get all this coded out, that's going to sort of be our goal, is to have that, you know, how those, those three variables will tell us how much interest is going to be earned. And mind you, this is simple interest. Um, if what I'm going to ask you guys to do sort of as homework uh, is if you can poke around and make me one of these that does compound interest I want you guys to know that that is going to involve uh, going out and finding how to do exponents or alternatively you can handle writing your own exponents uh, that's a little difficult but there is a, uh, a math library that does let you do it. So you might need to Google a little bit, but I think that that'll help you guys. So let's start off by declaring, uh, let's see, uh, int is going to be time because we can only have a certain number of years. And then we're going to do double interest equals zero comma uh, oh wait zero point zero rate equals zero point zero and principal equals zero point zero as well so when we do all that it's going to give us some underlines letting us know that we haven't used any of these but we're going to fix that so we're going to start off by querying the user to enter in the three uh, things that we're looking for. And that would be principal rate and time. So we're going to start off by saying please enter the amount of money that you wish to invest. So we're going to copy this line because we're going to use it a few times. And we'll do like that. And then we're going to do uh, principal equals input dot next int. After that, oh, I never specified what input was actually going to be. That would have been a good idea. So scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. Again, this is something that you really don't need to understand for the time. Just know that it exists. And know that we'll get to it sooner or later. So now that we have this, we're just going to do the same thing three times. So we'll just copy paste that same principal line and just change the variable. So that'll be principal, rate, and time. Um, just as a quick mention, <coughs> there are certain words that are going to be reserved 
uh, by Java that you can't use. So sometimes making these words a bit more descriptive than principal rate and time is necessary uh, based on what libraries you're using. So just be aware of that. It's something that can happen where you might end up with what's called a namespace conflict. So let's see, please enter the rate of interest your investment will receive. I hope that's how you spell receive. It's one of those gotcha words that I always screw up. Please enter the amount of time that you wish to invest for. Okay, so now we have those three things. Now we can do this uh, a few different ways. We can do this simply by saying uh, interest equals um, so we'll do principal multiplied by rate um, over time. And so this is going to have, how did I end up with 10 there, not time? So clearly I'm thinking very well. So let's just take a look at how this works. And you guys are going to notice something interesting about this. So this is indeed the, the formula for interest, but there's something that's going to happen here. Okay, so we'll say I wanna do 10,000 for, and I'll be receiving, let's see, 10% of my money per year. Uh, note that I'm doing an int, but it will convert that to a double, but it's just a plain number. And I want to invest it for 10 years. And, oops, I forgot to do a system.out.println the interest earned is plus interest. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Money that I wish to invest, 10% a year and 10%. So you'll notice that we have a whopping 10,000 of interest and anybody you know, can tell you that that's technically right. But there's a few things that are wrong with this. Number one is when we enter in a rate of interest, we're entering this in as an integer. And that's fine. Um, however, when you typically handle uh, actual interest, it's not going to be 5% or something like that. It's going to be like 0 0.45, which we could also do. The only problem is it'll it'll get a little weird if we start mixing our numbers around. Um, because there's a certain amount of precision that we're going to be expecting this to have. And I, I think that Actually, that's something I'll cover in a later lesson. Um, so I just want to show you guys, rather than go into a big tirade, I'm going to keep this uh, a beginner's lesson rather than sort of jumping around. So let's do this. Let's get rid of interest. Because all it really is is this right here, right? So if we're going to be doing that, then why don't we just do that? So let's get rid of the interest variable there. It'll become a variable that we don't actually use, which is fine. Instead, let's put in another parenthesis and then put that right in. And then we can give this a run. And we'll do 10,000, 10% interest, 10 years. And you'll notice that again we have earned the uh, the ten grand that we are expecting to see there. Now there are a lot of other sort of ways that we can go about programming this. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that sometimes you you make a variable that 
you don't necessarily need. Um, this is one of those cases where you can easily get rid of that variable interest. And so a lot of the time you'll you'll end up, especially as a beginner coder, where you'll have int a b c d e f g h i j k l m, and you know these are you know acting as counters on arrays they're acting as all sorts of different stuff but keeping your variable names uh, clean and and talking about what they're going to be modifying and more importantly talking about uh, reducing the number of variables you have to a manageable level and sort of keeping that as manageable as possible makes it a lot easier on the reader um, and I think I'm just going to leave it there for this lesson. I don't think I need to cover anything else. So this has been a simple interest problem. Um, if you guys are feeling adventurous, go try to uh, read up on math libraries uh, in Java, specifically maybe um, uh, how to use exponents in Java, and then try to reprogram what I just did, but using compounding interest rather than simple. Uh, I think you guys will find it very beneficial to you to sort of get that exposure on, um, on you know, looking things up on your own and actually looking through maybe the Java docs and sort of getting a better idea of how to read them. All right, well, that's going to do it. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.